Shabbat Shalom. In this week's Pasha, our Pasha Chayei Sarah, the Pasha opens with the tragic news that Sarah, our mother, has passed away. Avraham, struck by grief, the Torah says, He comes to eulogize and to cry for her. It was a devastating blow to Avraham. It was always Avraham and Sarah. It was this tag team that had made such a difference in Team Abraham to make a difference in the world, to educate the world by ethical monotheism. And now Sarah had died. Abraham comes to acquire a burial place for Sarah. And he gets involved in negotiation with Bnei Chait and eventually meets up with a man named Ephron. Ephron begins these negotiations by saying, whatever you want, you're a prince amongst us, please just take the land. But Avram notices something about Ephron. He says, I'm ha no, I have to pay. And when he says these words, Ephron changes his tune and he says, between me and you, 400 pieces of silver. Mahi, what is it? From free to an extraordinary amount of money. And Abraham does not turn around to Ephron and berates him. You promised, you said. No. Abraham opens up the checkbook, writes the check, and he buries Sarah. There are so many lessons that we can take from the story of Abraham. Lesson number one is goal-orientated. Did Abraham achieve his goal? Yes, he did. He acquired the burial place. Did he have to deal with a used car salesman like Ephron? Sure. But he never took his eye off the prize, which was to acquire the cave of Machpelah. He achieved it. Why get upset by the cave of, by, by Ephron's antics? Number two. Because you're having a bad day does not mean that you have the right to abuse, belittle, or to be angry at another, even if they're driving you mad. Abraham had endured two of the toughest experiences of his life, the Akedah at Yitzchak and now the passing of Sarah. Any one of us would have felt the poor man, he's suffering under such a load. He would have an excuse to scream and shout, to rant, be angry, to lash out. But Avram doesn't do that. And he teaches us this important lesson as well, that there's no excuse for bad behavior. Avraham is our father. Avraham is the patriarch of the Jewish people. And as such, he's the great role model of how we should behave. You have no right to become abusive, to scream, and to act just because you've had a bad day. Shabbat Shalom.